Yeah, no, buzzing with the performance. Um, uh, obviously, would have liked to finish, uh, but in the first round, I was letting go. Sorry, letting go the the strikes and uh, watching his uh, fights. He fought a well to be on lightweight before. Big lad, that's why he obviously struggling to make the weight. So uh, I knew. It. Now, in fairness, I kind of felt him uh, to win the Obviously, I could feel him like wincing and stuff. And uh, give, I could feel he knew he couldn't win, but I think he was just holding on to the hope of like maybe reverse me. That's why like I wasn't attaching. I go to the mount and I crawl back. Um, so I knew like he was tough, like you know, I, I've seen him getting pummeled, trust me, by welterweight, big welterweight. So I knew he was tough, so uh, it was uh, experience on my part as well to, you know, be careful, you know. Yeah, it's the first uh, decision you've had since the Sean and Dwight fight in 2020. How's the body holding up after the fight? Uh, body, I'm going for an x ray there now to see it with the hand. I caught him with a punch in, on top and I just felt something go. And uh, yeah, the, the the hands a bit dodged at the minute, so I'm gonna go and get an X-ray and see what that's like. But uh, I, I broke my hand before, so let's, let's see how that is. I, I broke the metacarpal, I think that is, but this is more than knuckle, so we'll see. You know, it's not, it shouldn't be too bad. You know, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, Sinus obviously took the fight at short notice. We saw him way in yesterday, and he was, you know, he was. He looked, in, he did look in a bad way, to be honest. Um, when you're coming in, when you've seen that. I'll be honest, I thought he was a good actor. <laughs> now nah, he's good acting skills maybe. No, but look, um, I didn't think that mattered at all really to be honest, because I'll be honest lads, I'd say I was giving away a good few kilos there and like if I was getting dropped and stuff like that there, he's been mentioning that, you know, so I was definitely giving away at least five kilos, at least. Um, you know, as you know, it was a catch when you miss weight as well. So uh, I was definitely giving away a good few kilos there. So uh, yeah, if I had a loss maybe is what I'm saying, he was too big or so look, um, I knew he was coming in big anyway, and uh, again, as I said, I didn't think it mattered. But when I seen him on the ground in the corner, that, I, I knew then. I knew I was like, right, he's that was that was the hell sign for me. I was like, right, he's just trying not to lose as bad, if that makes sense, you know, if, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, look, I. The two Dublin shows that are given every year, looks like I'd love one in the summer. Get better from the, uh, for the next one and uh, get one maybe May, June, you know, end of May, June, July, start of July. Something like that. Obviously, I don't know Bellator's schedule, something like that. And just to add on that as well, um, you know, to blow me on trumpet a bit, <laughs> but uh, th those decisions, all of my decisions were, uh, I had 10 8 rounds. So that's something to mention as well. They weren't just like, you know, it was all 10 8 rounds the decision wins I had and then obviously the rest were finishes and uh, so like again 7 and 0 I think that's fairly use it now that's uh, right up there in the win streaks in the, in the company so uh, we'll see what happens next but as, as I said uh, at the minute I think it's maybe a bit grey with, with Bellator now the fight like it's a bit grey with Bellator as in uh, the rankings are fairly so are solid whereas grey underneath that like it, you know he's not as I said lads are fighting here you know so I'm trying to like see where I fit there, you know, because people are mentioning top ten. Me personally, like I'm seven and oh yeah, but like I feel the money starting and like I feel like I'm like don't get me wrong, I might pick up a win, I might pick up a loss of these boys, but like I'm trying to gradually uh you know get to that point, you know. Again look if they offer that I will never say no, that's the way I am, but I want to progress. Yeah, so, so maybe you don't want a top ten opponent next, but but maybe someone who would get you, you know, that litmus test to say this is where Karen Clark is at him. Look, as I said, I don't, I don't, I don't know. As I said, just as long as it uh, makes sense and it's, it's progression, and uh, it's walking, to, walking towards that. Again, look, if they say that, well, then again, as I said, I'm here in Bellator. I can't say, um, I can't say. No, it's just whatever they feel I'm worthy of, you know. Kieran, a fight that might make sense. Kassan Magomed Sharabov fought, fought tonight at your way class, a similar sort to win streak. Is that a possible next fight that you'd like? Uh, that's that's guys to say that because we were sitting at breakfast and stuff and uh, seeing them boys and and uh, been honest, it's just actually a conversation myself and Darren were having that. Um, we were like, we were just saying they probably might build us to fight each other. Uh, him, but uh, I don't know how that would work uh, if um, 
you know they want to keep us away from each other I don't know how to work but uh, again it's obviously something I'd, I'd love to do maybe and uh, last year they, I think they were supposed to go to Russia and uh, there wasn't talks about me going but like I was thinking that might have been a thing they might have gotten to go for us or something so again I'm open to anything lads uh, as you know I'm here now in Bellator that'd be a great fight uh, he's a really really tough lad he bet Hudson tonight in the first round which is a great win for him uh, I think we'd match up well but uh, as I said uh, I'd, I'd, I'd fight anyone and uh, I'm here in Bellator now you know so I was talking to one of the American crew here from Bellator tonight when you were walking out and they said to me is Kieran Clark a big star because of the amount of noise that came from the crowd how great is that? It's not, it's not the biggest crowd we've ever had in the Bellator, but the, the draw of the crowd seems like the biggest crowd it's ever been. What, what about that noise? Yeah, look, man, I, I, that's a big thing to mention. And I just want to say that, like, from t head to toe, all local sponsors, Granite Top's main sponsor, Air Must 24 7, Air Nightclub, uh, Connect Flooring, Leading Contracts, Air from Motors. I'm like a race car driver, yeah, I can't name them all, but all locally getting behind me the whole town the whole country I feel after hearing that you know and uh, as far as Drottler consistently every fight six times I'm here it's 300 plus people consistently like every do you know the way it's not like a you know once off it's like every time you know I'm, like buses coming up bus loads you know Murray's coaches another show sponsor they're all bringing buses up and I just love every single one because I know I'm fully aware how much it costs to come here it's 200 euro for you put your hand in your pocket it's nice to sell boys it's getting points and uh, I just, I, t I really, I was even just chatting to Daryl, like my brother, I was just like, I feel like a winner anyway because I bring the whole town, it, it feels like, I don't know, I might be thinking it's more than or something, but it's like, it's like Italian 90, I, obviously I was, wasn't born, but like, people talking about that buzz in the town, you know what I mean, it's like everyone gets behind me, you know, so, um, yeah, it's unreal, unreal. Andrew McGahan was telling us there before, when you were on the way up, you were looking for a bus sponsor to take you down to Dublin and back. I tell you, plenty of sponsors now from the town. Oh yeah, big time, big time. Yeah, <laughs> used to meet Andrew on the bus and that, and uh, it's gas where we come now. Yeah. <laughs> and last one for me. You always talk after your fights about you didn't have maybe an opportunity to show your skill set because you know you've been taking big shots and coming back and having to show hard. For me tonight, a lot of people at cage side, the skill set you were able to show with the domination, shots on the ground, the positional skills as well, you must be happy with that. It's something that you maybe you weren't happy with or disappointed with in previous fights. Look lads, I won't keep you any longer. We all want to see that. But I was very happy. It's comfortable, very comfortable. And uh, I was very happy with the distance. The distance was better. And uh, me, me uh, closing the distance is better. So very happy with that. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Probably. Thanks, Kieran. Thank you for watching this video on SevereMMA.com. For more wonderful content, please click the like, subscribe and notification bell and follow us on these social medias.